Uh, yeah. What do you remember of your first time ever at Croke Park? Um, first time ever at Croke Park. I think we played a league game against Dublin, um, but I suppose my real first memory of Crow Park was was back in kind of twenty two thousand seven. I went to the minor, the Limerick were in the the minor and the senior the senior final, um, and I just remember just watching that minor final, looking on looking on, and I know Galway beat Limerick on the day, but in awe of like the my, my club and the likes of John Kelly and Brian Sullivan, Owen Ryan, um, who were supermen. Like yeah, just being in awe of them. Mm. Favorite player of all time. Uh, Andrew Shaughnessy. Yeah, he was a great, uh, great player. Who's the the mo- What's the toughest opponent you've had? Um, well, I'd have to say just I suppose from Mark a lot in the club game and even in intercounty training. I have to Rich English. Um, okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a, you learn it off him. Then you come, you come out of training. It's black and blue after him. <laughs> uh, what's the team you most like to beat? To beat. Yeah. Um, I suppose yeah. There's a, there's a there's a good rivalry between Limerick and Clare, Limerick and Tips, Limerick and Cork. But I suppose as living down in Cork, um, I suppose it's always nice to to be Cork. Um, just makes yeah. it easier for my week at work. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your proudest day playing GA? This could be club, county, college, whatever. Um, what well, definitely the Munster Club final in 2014. Um. I think we played Sars in the semi final, went to extra time, beat them, and then had an absolutely outstanding game against Cratlow. Probably one of the greatest, one of the greatest club games in the last probably twenty years. And to come out the the other side of that um, was was just yeah, fantastic day for all of us. What's your favourite stadium? Um, I'd have to say actually Parky Cueve, since it's been redeveloped. I think it's yeah, it's a it's a lovely stadium, and I think the fields even we played there last year against Tip. Um, in the pouring rain and the field was just still immaculate and uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful surface and a beautiful stadium yeah I can't believe you brought that game up I didn't want to talk about that one uh, what's, <laughs> what's the biggest disappointment of your career um, it's a difficult one but I suppose yeah probably losing the, the club final in, in, in 2015 Patrick's day um, mm. I know we brought it up already but probably wasn't didn't show up fully on, on the day or we were a bit naive because Kenny, I suppose, they had the likes of Shefflin and, and TJ Reid who had been kind of winning our arms with Kilkenny and had that experience of the big day in Club Park and that was something maybe we didn't have. And um, yeah, and the day just, just didn't happen for us and it was, that was very disappointing. Who, who's the joker on the panel, on the Limerick panel? On the Limerick panel, Pat Ryan from Doom, 100%. Yeah. Well, why? What, what is he's it? A la- he's just a laugh a minute. He's just a character. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's the. I think there's Boris Lee blood in him there somewhere. I think. <laughs> I think that could be. He won't like. He won't like hearing that. No. <laughs> who's the Who's the best trainer? Um, the best trainer on the panel. Um, yeah, a lot of good guys. In fairness, um, I'd have to say maybe. For the first fellow that kind of comes to mind is probably Barry Nash for me. Um, he's always going to be the first one of the first fellas out in the field. Like we could be training at seven, he'd be on the field at six o'clock, probably doing his own bits and pieces beforehand. And yeah, so as you can see, like he's made the made the the change from playing probably corner forwards a couple of years ago in 15, 16 to to wing forward to wing back and now to corner back and yeah to, tra- to make that transition from one end of the field to the other like that that takes a lot a lot of effort on the field and off the field and. Yeah, I'd have to say Barry has, has been fantastic over the last couple of years. Hmm. I'm going to ask who's the best dressed and then obviously who's the worst dressed? Um, hmm. uh, best dressed probably so Seamus Flanagan. He puts in a lot of effort into his appearance and he has his own clothing brand as well. So um, I'd have to give that to him. Um, not hectic, is that what it's called? Not hectic, yeah. So yeah, shout out for Seamus there. <laughs> <laughs> um and worst dressed uh, that's a difficult one. Um uh, I think I'll leave that one off. <laughs> okay. Who thinks the women loves them? Um geez, these are tough questions. Um <laughs> I'd go probably Seamus again there. Yeah. Okay. And um, just a couple more. What player from another sport do you admire? Um, I suppose the first one that came to my mind there when you talk about it um, is probably Yanis. 
um, for the, the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, but, uh, think, some job to pronounce his surname. Yeah, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give that a pass as well. <laughs> and to the, uh, and to the football, I think. Um, to, yeah, 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 it was pretty close. Uh, what yeah. manager from another sport do you admire? Um, Dave Moyes. I suppose I'm, I'm a West Ham fan myself, so I think um, the the impact he's made in the club over the last couple of years, coming in first as a, a kind of a caretaker manager, and then coming back in for his second stint, and I suppose the the, the players he's brought in and the, the unity he seems to have um, brought to that team has made a huge difference over the last couple of years, and they're they're really pushing for a, a top four place this, time, this year, and they're, they're they're flying in in the Europa League as well. So yeah, I think he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, not too many say David Moyes. Can't believe it. Yeah. After what happened with United, I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, he has done well. Look, you've been very good with your time, Graham. Really, really appreciate you joining me and best of luck. If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.